arriving at the boat yard, the oak tree was sure that he would become a grand and glorious ship for a king. His dream was coming true. He wasn't just going to be an oar or a deck. He was going to be the strong side of a great ship. He was made into a small fishing boat. And he wasn't destined to be sailing on the mighty ocean or moored in a beautiful harbor, but stuck on a calm lake. The third sea grew tall until it towered over the valley. The third tree had to dream too. But unlike the first two trees, he wanted to stay right where he stood. He dreamed of being the tallest tree in the entire forest. When people looked up at the pine tree with its giant branches reaching tall toward heaven, the tree hoped to remind people of God's glory, majesty, and power. A ferocious storm took the third tree by surprise. Rain pelted the earth for days. The animals searched for cover. The thunderstorm attacked the tall pine with a vengeance. Rain pounded the earth. Thunder shook its bark. Rain weakened its roots. Lightning bolts shot across the sky. Suddenly, the tree was struck by a powerful bolt of lightning. The pine tree's dream had come to an end. He would never become the tallest pine in the forest. Now he was simply a huge log that blocked a small road through the mountains. The animals found new homes, and the humans found a way to get rid of the useless tree. The pine tree was thrown into a pile of scrap, where he stayed for many years. In the worst condition imaginable for a once proud tree. Unused and forgotten. Hey, you 
One star-filled night, an amazing thing happened. An angel appeared to a group of frightened shepherds and said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. A manger, another name for a feed trough, one that held the Savior of the world. God always has a plan and a purpose for everything, and He does things in His own unique way with his own unique timing. Our first tree, the olive tree, who dreamed of holding great treasure, well, God let her hold the greatest treasure of all. Some years later, an amazing thing happened in a little fishing boat. A very strong wind came up over the lake. The waves began coming over the sides of the boat. It was almost full of water. What kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. The second tree, our strong oak, didn't become a giant sailing ship. But he did become a ship that carried the King of Kings. One day, Roman soldiers took the forgotten tree from the scrap pile. Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! 
Put into a tomb that was cut in a wall of rock. Three days later, he was raised from the dead. The King of Kings had risen. Sometimes the dreams that we have for ourselves are much smaller than the dreams that God has for us. God allowed the dreams of the three trees to be used for His purpose and for His kingdom. A beautiful manger held the greatest treasure at the birth of a Savior. A small fishing boat carried the King of Kings. The strong, tall cross points people towards God to this very day, reminding us of God's promise of a way that we can live with Him forever. Inside each of us, God planted the seeds for a life with Him. If we choose in our hearts to trust and believe in the Savior.